from that rubbish TV show with all the dragons. I mean, if you ask me. Does this bus go to Belfast? Sorry, it's a tour bus, love. Does it go to Belfast? No. Well, well, it goes to Belfast at the end of the trip because that's where we started. But shall we always end up back where we started, don't we? Connell, leave it. <laughs> Wait, I've got Molly. Sorry, love. You can only buy tickets in the office, which this day and age is madness. A simple online ticket system. Please. Take the hint. We can't, pet. I waited on someone wants to grab a chip, and the next thing you know, a pensioner is being assaulted with a battered sausage. I promised my dad. He's dead. I have to go. Please. Fuck, pet. It's fine. Come on. But don't be telling my boss. Well, I kind of am my own boss, though. That's the best thing about this job, apart from the talking. I love a wee chat. You walk. Yeah, I kind of do. You're the best thing. Oh, my God, You're that's the, the one. Thing. Can I try that one, please? Sorry, love, that's been left over for someone. What? Hiya! Sorry, guys, I can't stop. Nobody wants you to. Just grabbing a few wee bits for the prom, so you know how it is. You'll have to go, son. I love you. You seemed inspired. Oh, yes, I, I was. I, I am. Go ahead. <clears throat> Fate. My most erroneous son. And it was like Jesus knew. He said he wanted to wash my feet. But when he kneeled down and put his hands between my legs, I knew that he wanted Wait, to do... stop. The prompt was, what Jesus means to me. This is a certain kind of fiction. I know. It's, I lost the deal, eh? Sorry, what? I need to make money. When Jackie said, fuck Jesus, it just came to me. Fifty Shades of Jesus. People would buy that. Thanks, Jackie. And thank you for sharing. The schematic stage of drawing generally occurs at this age. Seven to nine. They start drawing what they are thinking rather than just what they see. When I asked Olivia what she had drawn, she told me it was a princess who had stabbed herself and died. She hasn't been sleeping very well. She looks tired. Well, um, Paul's work is with bereaved people, of course, and my work has its ups and downs, but. We're always very careful what we say in front of the kids. Perhaps she intuited something. Perhaps. Oh, lovely. Did you feed the dog? Not really that Egypt, anyway. Hey. The bus. Show them this. Oh my God! It's all gold. It used to belong to some Arab in Iraq. Do you want to feel it? Aye. Not the gun. The big lad. So that just shoots blinks. <laughs> Why do you have to go and say that? Sorry, MD. When are you going to give over about having babies? I don't give a shite what the doctors say. There's nothing wrong with me. What are you just looking at? Come on, get up. I'm sorry. Megan. Megan, could you come up here, please? Father Smith's here to see you. No, please, I don't want to. Shh. It's OK. You're not in any trouble. He just wants to talk to you about the problems you've been having at home. I don't have any problems. Look, it's okay. You don't need to tell me anything. Speak to Father Smith and take all the time you need. Mm. 